Enamel is glass. The exact definition is molten glass combined with metal oxides. Enameling demands infinite time and patience. There are successive stages in enameling, none of which can be overlooked. It really is about letting time take its course. I started when I was 12. There's a real atmosphere in the workshop. I was born to a watchmaking family in La Chaux de Fonds, where my godfather was an engraver. One day I asked if I could stay and watch him work. My first tasks were clearing up and setting out his workbench. It's a long apprenticeship. After this, I used to get his palette of colors ready. I'd never say I'm the only enameler to apply all four techniques. You're never the only one, but there aren't many of us. In cloisonné enamel, I create the outline of the pattern with thin strips of gold on an enamel base. These strips form cells which I fill with the different enamels. Each color has to be fired in turn. Champlevé enamel applies the enamels in the same way, except that the design is made not with strips of gold, but by engraving the surface by hand or machine. The enameler then applies the different enamels that give the color. The third technique uses spangles, which are tiny gold foil decorations, which the enameler sinks into layers of transparent enamel. The fourth technique, which I consider to be an art in itself, is miniature painting. This is an entirely different technique in which the enamel is mixed with oil rather than water. I can combine these techniques in what may be completely new ways. Little by little, you develop your own language. Looking at enamel, which is glass, through a magnifier, shows how the colors penetrate each other. Because it's glass, enamel has a very faint transparency. The colors will slowly change during firing as the work progresses. There's a kind of vibration, profoundness would be a better word, which I find only in enamel. This trial by fire is really what sets enamel apart. There's always a risk. The enamel is subjected to 800 degrees, and you can never be sure there won't be a tiny movement, a speck of dust or a draft, two colors that don't combine, or that the water wasn't totally pure. Which is why I still have some failures. Even with all this range of colors, I'll very often create my own mixtures. Transparent enamels blend together well, like watercolors. The subtlety of colors you can obtain is truly extraordinary. For me, finding the perfect color is captivating. Sometimes I create nuances that aren't even visible to the naked eye. It's just something I love to do. I might look at a green and decide I want to make it a tiny little bit more grey. Anyone who looks at the piece won't notice the difference. It's my own private pleasure. Light, transparency, and profoundness. You can feel that enamel goes far deeper than just the surface. 
I could look at miniatures for hours on end. It's as though something were reaching out, and that for me is totally fascinating. Je trouve fascinant. Enfin, ça me fascine.